are we good? Are we framed up? Is the light like perfectly on her shining like perfect face? <laughs> <laughs> I think the light's actually shining from her. <laughs> oh, that's why we like it when he runs camera. <laughs> I love it. Um, so we're here with Sadie Calvano um, at the Pasadena International Film Festival, one of our rising stars. Um, welcome. <laughs> um, so I did a little research, and we have something in common. Yes. I did musical theater for a long time, um, four different Broadway shows, and you starred in a show that was my first Broadway show. She played Belle in Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> a time. How was that, and where was that? Oh, man, that was cool quite some time ago. I believe that we did that show, I want to say at the El Portal, but that might not be correct. <laughs> it was a long time ago. <laughs> I was like, wow, yay, we have something in common. And are you going back to stage door this summer? I'm planning on it. We'll see what this summer holds. We have some things kind of in the mix right now, but that's the plan. It'd be my last summer, so. Yeah, you're busy pants with mom and um, and you have. Do you have other projects coming up on the horizon that you can talk about? Not anything that I can speak of yet. She's so busy pants. Um, that's awesome. Um, well, welcome. Um, and you look beautiful. Oh my God, your shoes are ridiculous. Um, so 1920s themed festival. We're asking everyone the same question. Um, oh, it's easy. Um, so we were talking about the films from the 1920s um, and all of the great actors like Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton and all of those silent films and then moving into talking films. Um, what do you think as an actor um, we should learn or keep from those films of the 20s? I think one of the amazing things about these silent films is that it creates a really universal story that can be told to anyone anywhere regardless of a language barrier so i think it kind of highlights the amazing thing that we do as actors which is we tell story and that really we can do that with words or without and so i think it's an amazing thing that we should continue to remember is that stories can resonate with people everywhere and that language is kind of transparent it's the best answer all night. <laughs> like, yay. Um, okay, so now I have a silly one. Um, Valentine's Day coming up. Yes. Um, and don't forget, uh, best or worst Valentine's Day story ever? Or just a funny story? Oh, man. Um, I don't know. I'm not really much of a Valentine's Day doer. I <laughs> kind of feel like restaurants are overpriced and hotels are really crowded. <laughs> and like when I'm not doing something like this and working and being here, I'm kind of a homebody and like to snuggle up with a movie and invite girlfriends over and do our nails <laughs> and be super girly and lazy. <laughs> Maybe order in a pizza. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, so one more question, and that's this is like a, a me question because I love hearing about this. Um, talking about like big box cable going away with the advent of like Hulu and Netflix and like everything changing, um, indie TV is like everything, you know. Um, how do you think that will affect independent filmmakers in the future, or if at all? Yeah, I mean. I think something important to remember when you're working in this industry is that there's always enough to go around and that if you're working hard and doing what you're doing, work will find you always. And so I think it's amazing that we're able to now perform in a new platform and that people that don't necessarily have televisions are able to watch this from their computers, which is super cool for students like me. Um, and so like I'm going to college next year. Ah, yikes, yikes. Okay, good. Okay. We'll cut. <laughs> um, so I'm going to college next year and may, potentially not having a TV. That's a really amazing thing that we can still stream all of the stuff onto our computers. But I think movies will continue to be made. There's always more stories to be told. I don't think we have anything to worry about yet. 
What are you going to be majoring in? Um, well, I applied under independent patterns, so I have some time to figure it out. But I have a feeling that it's going to boil down to women's studies and some directorial film stuff. So we'll see when I get there. <laughs> well, congratulations, and thank you for joining us. And go get some hors d'oeuvres. Okay, Live your thank life. You. <laughs> Chatting with us. Oh my goodness. <laughs>